uh, in Homewood, the police department will end up ends up finishing its uh, yearly active shooter training today. They have been participating in exercises all week to ensure children and staff are protected for any potential active shooter incidents. WVTM 13's Corey Thompson tells us why this training is so important to the officers. There have been more than 370 mass shootings this year, compared to last year with 647. That's according to the gunviolencearchives.org. And last year alone, 13 school shootings met the federal definition of a mass killing incident. Alabama has seen six mass shootings this year, two in Birmingham. That's why the Homewood Police Department is staying prepared. We swap out locations, try to get in all the schools around the city. Um, that provides an orientation for our newer officers who may have not been inside the schools. Um, it also allows us to stay current on the school layouts. Sergeant John Carr says this is their most important call. If it ever happens and we have to be highly trained and be able to go in and, and, and neutralize the threat and, and protect the kids and the, and the teachers. The Homewood Police Department is doing training exercises this week at Our Lady of Sorrow School. Officers role play and reenact scenarios with rubber bullets. We just want to be prepared. We want all of our officers to be prepared. We want all of them to be current. Um, you know, it's unfortunate these events happen, but when they do, there's always a tabletop to discuss what got done right, what could be better. The training might not be a big deal to some, but for these officers, it's a chance to save lives. We have to be perfect. Um, we're going in, we're not waiting. The first officer gets here, he is going in, he or she, or go, they're going in. So this is a major um, potential event. Sergeant Carr also tells me, parents, if your child comes to you with any threats on their social media accounts, report it to your local police department. In Homewood, Corey Thompson, WVTM 13.